everyone's still finding their footing in this early part of the season, Grant. How important is it to get off to a really hot start? Oh, it's so important to get off early to a good start. Look here, Kaminsky, he's checked in for Clint Capella. Lamb comes in for John Collins. Bogdanovich has checked in for Murray. And Junior subbed in for Young. So Charlotte going with almost an entire new group here. Richards has checked in for Plumley. McDaniels comes in for Hayward. Oubre, he's checked in for Rozier. And it's Smith in for Ball. On the floor for Charlotte, we've got Kelly Oubre. P.J. Washington out there with Nick Richards. Then it's Smith, and it's McDaniels in at the three spot. Inside, it's stolen by Bogdanovich. Outside Lamb. And here's Junior outside. No luck on that one. And Charlotte shooting just about 29% so far. Not great. Smith against Junior. Shot to stop the run. The shot comes out. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Their last game, a win against the Magic. Looking to carry it into this one. And it was those effort plays that put them over the top. They were the harder working team. Simple as that. Six to shoot. Lamb for three. Crops in the three. And this defense needs to turn the screws and ramp up the intensity. They're looking a little loose out there right now. Bogdanovich against Oubre. This one for three. The shot, no good. And so it's Atlanta leading by 17. 26. The visiting team. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Hawks. Well, they found a groove, and it's from distance, so knocking them down from the three-point land never hurts. Getting to the inside is really important, but it's how close you can get to the basket. It feels like these guys are all around the rim in their attack tonight. On the court for Charlotte, Dennis Smith out there with ball. Then there's Nick Richards, then there's Kelly Oubre, and it's Washington in at the four. Ball outside. Here's Richards. It's good. And the assist that time from Ball. Ball's got three assists now in this one. And you like the balance here. Not just falling in love with the three ball. Well, after the first round exit in 22, the Hawks front brass admitted perhaps they've been too complacent with the roster. So that changed this summer. Trading for an all-star is just at the line. Of the Free throw good, Junior, and watching the 18th pick of the draft, MP, there was a lot of debate as to where he could get selected. Yeah, there was a lot of film on MP, but not a real sense of his role. Teams like his intangibles, but weren't sure if the upside of taking him in the first round was there. It's clear Charlotte has the pieces in place to make noise in the league for years to come. Yeah, no question, B.A. They got one of the best young rosters in the NBA. And they're balanced. They play tremendous team basketball. Fun to watch. Murray's shot is good. Murray's got eight points. And just totally relentless. Only increasing the intensity level. And he's the guy that you want to go to right now trying to put this one away. Smith. And there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. That one falls, so he hits both of them. Timeout called, the Hawks. They've committed enough foul. Strong defense without getting too physical. Hawks. 
And for Atlanta, they're shooting just 38% in this quarter. Junior right side. He tries for three. Ball with the rebound. Ball's got five rebounds in the game. Pass to Smith. Boom! He jams it straight down. Such a dynamic dunker as a small man. Dennis Smith Jr. gets way up there. Once again, an explosive highlight on the AT&T 5G slam cam. Let's go with a three. And the rebound goes to the Hornets. Washington's got his fourth rebound in this one. Five-second differential between the shot clock and game clock. Washington, a screen on MP. Let's it go from 14. Smith, no good. Not a bad shot from the mid-range. The D's giving it to him, and he's usually got an eye in that kind of range. Murray passes to Junior. Up and over Smith. Oh, no good on the last second attempt there. And so it's the Atlanta Hawks ending the quarter up 10. Their play has earned them a nice lead. One they'll... And hello, everybody. What an amazing first half performance it's been for the Atlanta Hawks. It's obvious crashing the boards was a point of emphasis. They're rebounding by committee, and their dominance in that category is a key reason for this lead. Their opponent needs to find some Windex because they need to start cleaning the glass. Ooh, Ernie, I see how you did that. All right, and now let's talk about that point guard duel we've seen so far in the first half. Thanks, as always, for watching. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. We're seeing a tremendous game from Trey Young. Through two quarters of play, he's been an excellent source of point. Almost an entire new group here. Richards is checked in for Plumley. McDaniels comes in for Washington. Rozier, he's checked in for Hayward. And it's Smith in for Ball. We've got 113 left in the third quarter. Smith against Junior. Pass to Oubre. Takes a three. Kaminsky pulls it in. Kaminsky's got four rebounds now. Frank Kaminsky is out there with a Kongwu. Then it's Junior. Then it's Aaron Holiday. And it's Bogdanovich in at the three slot. So that's the Hawks five. And Junior gets it to go. Yeah, showing a little versatility with their offensive attack. In the first half, it was about the three ball. In the second half, they've emphasized interior scoring. Rogier, the pass to McDaniels. And a nice finish on the layup. McDaniels got his second bucket of the night. They finally found their shooting touch after a rough first half. 26 seconds left in the third quarter here. Junior with the bucket. And they just continue to sharpen their offense here in the second half. Fantastic ball movement for them tonight. The things are definitely working offensively. A balanced attack is just so much harder to defend. Now here's Rozier. Seven points in the game. And there's the slam! Dunk to finish it off. Oh, that was nasty! A two-hand mega slam. And I don't think anyone was going to stop him. Grant, we always talk about great footwork for post players, but how about perimeter players? 
You know, I'm glad you brought that up, B.A. Great perimeter players have elite footwork. The footwork helps to create the opportunity to score, whether that's shooting a three off the dribble or even in the post up. Great, elite, fantastic, iconic guards who could do it all have superior footwork. Believe that. On the court for the Hornets, they've got Nick Richards, Smith out there with ball. Then it's Mason Plumley, and it's Hayward in at the small forward position. Pass to Plumley. Five on the clock. Charlotte needs to get one up in a hurry. Richards' shot is off. The Hawks shooting 44% here in the fourth quarter. <laughs> it's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says in a great win for the Hawks. They were the more accurate club. And in the end, that made the difference, Grant. Yeah, B.A., you have to love their strategy. And even more, you love the execution. And they'll chalk this up as their third win of the year. Yeah, this is far from the last word in the season series. Still three more meetings between them and plenty of motivation to square things up. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Trey Young. Just does a great job of looking for space and then finding it. That's taking advantage of what the defense is giving you. Such a big part of what he does for this team. Goes up from the top of the key, and Junior gets it to go on the assist by Lamb. Impressive job by this team, and you really can't discount the impact of this crowd here. Awesome to see their output tonight, trying to urge their team on, and that can always help. That, that home advantage of home fans getting you going, fully on display here. Ball against Holiday. Pass to Junior. Fires high post, and the Hawks tack on two more. And he's going to nail these if you give him the space. That's just soft D. The defense also looking defeated. The lack of hustle is driving the coaching staff a little bit batty. And so it's it. 100. Thanks, everyone, for coming out to tonight's game. We hope you have a safe trip home, and we'll